Well, good morning, Up Street. I'm so glad you're here today hanging out with your favorite, Mr. Doug. Here we are. You guys are back at school. I am not. I am a graduate. But y'all need to keep up your schoolwork. So, let's get real with each other. Who here, tell the truth, who here is getting up the first time their alarm clock goes off? Raise your hands. Uh, uh, uh. Tell the truth. Who's been able to come straight home from school and get all their homework done before dinner? Raise your hands. No, it, I see you over there. No. Well, I see a few hands out there that aren't up. And let's be honest, it's so easy to start the school year off strong, but as the days go by, it gets harder and harder. Get up first time the alarm goes off, come home, do your homework right after school before dinner. In fact, that's what we've been talking about all month long. We're talking about how to start strong and stay strong. And God has a lot to tell us about how we can start strong and how we can stay strong. And we're going to talk about that today. But first, we're going to have some fun. First, we're going to see who came to compete and dominate today. All this talk about being strong got me thinking about one of my favorite games to play, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. Here's how we're going to play. In just a minute, I want each of you, everybody, I want each of you to find a partner, somebody in your house. You can't play against your dog because they don't know how to play. So your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, your grandparent, an aunt, an uncle, somebody. You're going to play one round of rock, paper, scissors with your partner. One round. The person who loses has to sit down. Ah, you're cut. The partner that wins will find another family member and play another round with this new partner. Make sense? All right, just so we all clear on the rules, okay? Paper covers rock. Rock crushes scissors, and scissors cuts paper. So, each one can win, each one can lose. All right, if you don't have anyone to play, you can play with your old buddy, Mr. Doug. So, we're going to play virtually. On the count of three, we're going to play. All right, we're going to play three rounds. You ready? So, on the count of three. One, two, three, go. So, I had scissors. So, scissors cuts paper, but rock crushes scissors. So, did I win? Did I lose? So, we're going to play again. Here's round two. So, count of three. One, two, three, go. I chose rock. So, rock crushes scissors, but paper covers rock. So, could have won, could have lost. If you're still in and you beat me twice... Maybe you find somebody else in the house or you play with me. Here we go. Third round. You ready? One, two, three, go. I chose rock again. Rock crushes scissors, 
but paper covers rock. All right. Nice work, everybody. Did anybody beat me? Anybody beat me? Come on. Three times? Did you beat me three times? I want to hear about it. Nice work, everyone. Everybody else, jump up on those feet and let's get ready to sing. Here we go. Through the fire, you're always speaking. Just a word has the whole earth shaking. Yes, our God cannot be moved. Yes, our God cannot be moved. Yes, our God cannot be moved. Unshakable. Hey everybody, my name is Alston and I have a question for you. Who out there loves playing battle video games? Of course you do, right? Everybody loves battle video games. Well, if you've never played before, let me give you a tip. It's very important the player that you choose. Because if you want to win, if you want to defeat your enemies, you're going to need a character that's got all the right weapons and all the right armor. So let, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so let's say you guys are about to play a game and you get to choose which player is going to represent you in battle. So, here's your options. Player one, they've got a sword. Now, a sword's a good weapon. You can do a lot with a sword, but at the end of the day, that's all they've got, a sword. Then you've got player two. Now, player two has a shield. Okay, still pretty cool. You can do some things with a shield. You can bounce things back, but kind of like player one, all they've got is a shield. 
But then you've got player three. Now check this out. Player three not only has a sword, not only has a shield, but they have this awesome helmet as well. So which player do you choose? That's right, of course, you would choose player number three. They have all the right armor. And in fact, let's welcome player three out here right now. Oh yeah, see, he looks awesome. You've got all the right armor, all the right weapons. You can stand strong in battle, right? Good, because look out! Way to go! You see, your armor defended you in the battle. That was awesome! Now I'm gonna ask you to do something kind of crazy. Can you take all that armor off for a minute? Okay, yeah, just, just trust me, it's gonna be fine. You see, God says that life sometimes can feel like a battle too. We've constantly got things coming at us. You've got choices to make about what to do, what to watch, whether or not to obey your parents, who to be friends with. Life is a battle. Not only that though, God says that we have an enemy. His name is Satan. Now we can't see him like we can't see God, but he's actually trying all the time to get us to mess up, to trick us into doing the wrong thing. But do we have to be afraid? I mean, do we really have to be afraid? No, because God says he is gonna help us stand strong. So here's what he says. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. That's right. What does God say to put on? The full armor of God. Yes, God has given us this invisible armor to help protect us against our enemy. So you wanna know about what they are? Check this out. Here's the first one. It says, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. You see, God says that when we have faith, when we believe every day that God's with us, that he loves us and that'll help us, it's kind of like we have a shield that'll help protect us from everything the enemy throws at us. Yeah, exactly. If the enemy says, you're not good enough. Nope, exactly. God loves me. I know that's not true. Or if the enemy says, you should be afraid. You block it, that's right. You say, nope, that's not true. I know that God is with me. Our faith is like a shield to help protect us. It helps us start strong and stay strong. Then God says, take the helmet of salvation. So when you believe in Jesus, when you believe that he died for you and that he came back to life, God says it's like you're wearing a helmet that protects your mind and reminds you that you belong to God. You're on his team. And when you're on God's team, that means that he's gonna fight for you. He'll never leave you. He'll always be with you. You'll always be his. And how does that help us stay strong? Because what team is stronger than God's team? No team. That's right. What enemy would stand a chance against God? And finally, God says that one of your most powerful weapons in battle is this, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. See, God says that when we read the Bible and we know what's in there, it's like it becomes a sword, a weapon in battle. Because you know what the enemy likes to do? He likes to trick us into making the wrong thing seem like the right thing. But that's why God's given us a sword. So we can be like, on guard, that's a lie. On guard, that's another lie. You can't defeat me because I know the truth. I know what's right because God showed me. How awesome is that? God has given us a shield of faith a helmet of salvation, and a sword of the Spirit, so that not only can we start strong, but stay strong, no matter what comes our way. So let's give it up for our battle warrior today. Hey, thanks man, way to represent us in battle. All right guys, so here's my last question for you. What do you have to do to stand strong this week? Do you have to do it on your own? No, of course not. You can ask God every morning to help you put on the armor of God. Think about that shield. You can have faith and know that God's with you, that he loves you, and that he wants to help you. Think about the helmet to remind you that you belong to God. You're on his team. He's stronger than anything. And think about the sword. Every morning, read your Bible so that you know God's truth and that so you can make the wise choice. God will help you stand strong. Will you say that with me? God will help you stand strong. So you'll remember every day, we gave you a backpack tag. And hopefully you've gotten it because we want to remind you of what you've learned on Upstreet. 
that wherever you go, whenever you see this tag, you can remember the things you've learned here and it'll help you not only start strong, but stay strong. So let's pray. God, thank you so much that you've given us armor to protect us every day. Thank you that we have that armor so that we can trust in you, so that we know you're always with us and that we can stand strong against any unwise choices. We love you so much, God. Thank you for loving us. Amen.